Wow. All right, let's look at our weather. This morning was quiet. Pretty good start to the day in the Piedmont. A lot of sunshine through lunchtime. And then in the afternoon, we start to see the clouds flowing in. And then the rain comes over, takes our camera out for a little while, but it came back. Still got some rain on the camera lens. 70 degrees outside right now with rain cooled air. 91 degrees was our high before any storms, and the low temperature is our current reading. And we've had 96 hundredths of an inch of rain so far today. Our 90 degree count with us having one today is now at six for the month and 29 days for the year. We've got 70 degree readings for much of the triad eastbound now. We've still got some 80s to the west, but where the air has cooled off, things are going to be getting more and more quiet hour by hour, and that's good for high school football in these areas, but the ground and the field's going to be wet. The bleachers may be wet, so make sure you got some towels, and this area between uh, the triad and Charlotte's going to be the area you've worked on the next couple of hours where there's still some heat and humidity to deal with. Now, tomorrow we'll be back in the upper 80s. The heat index will be in the low to mid 90s across the Piedmont. There you see the showers and storms that we've got out there. They're working southwest and we still have this warning out, but on the northern side of this it's weakening a lot and to the south and west it's not as strong as it was a little bit earlier. We still have a flash flood watch flash flood warning out because of all this heavy rain that we've had. We're not going to be adding much more to it, but some areas east of Archdale, north of Liberty have already had around four inches. Pleasant Gardens had a lot of rain as well. And as we open the picture up, you can see the uh, threat that we've got is a level one threat, but again, areas behind it are already starting to calm down. We're going to see more of that activity this weekend as the cold front's approaching, and then the one from the north will come through, and when it does, we will get a real break coming up next week. But tomorrow, during the heat of the day, there will be some showers and storms, but they'll be most numerous in the mountains and a little bit more activity on Sunday when the front's on top of us. And behind the front, the muggy meter improves a lot next week. Beaches, if you're going down there, you've got great weather this weekend. Upper 80s with sunshine. Our mountains will be 80 and then 77, and they'll see some showers and storms both days. In the Piedmont this evening, a few showers and storms possible this evening is 78. Overnight, we're heading down to a low of 70. And then for tomorrow, we go for a high of 88, partly cloudy, some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Your extended forecast shows you the highest chance of rain is Sunday, drops down starting early next week. Then we have a low chance and the temperatures mid and upper 70s for Tuesday through Friday. It's going to be very comfortable. We've got one night in there in the upper 50s. That's Wednesday night. And then we go on out 8 to 12 days, highs in the low 80s and a chance for a shower storm 35 to around 40%. So the kind of heat we've been seeing is getting ready to go away. I'm hoping it goes away till next year, but we'll have to wait and see.